Welcome to this week's edition of UTA Spotlight. I'm Joe Scanlon. Student living has expanded across campus as UTA's student population has risen over the past few years. With this increase in the student population, more apartments have been able to pop up across campus. Creighton Branch has the story. With the on-campus student population of UTA growing every year, student living is a top priority and the 848 Mitchell Luxury Apartments are the new student living complexes set to house current and incoming UTA students. Located on 848 Mitchell Street, the new apartments hope to make an impact in the UTA community. We want to bring a bigger and better student living to UTA. Uh, the students deserve, they study really hard, so they deserve to go back to an apartment that they can relax, have fun, spend time with their friends. As you can see, the 848 Mitchell Apartments are under construction right here behind me. They'll be coming up next fall and we'll have a studio, a one, a two, three, four, and even five bedroom complex. The building will house 687 students and 298 luxury style apartments. Each apartment will include a queen size bed, a personal desk, a living room, a 55 inch TV, stainless steel appliances, spacious kitchen, and many residential leisure activities such as a resort pool. Students also seem to have a positive response to the new apartments as well. We have um, an ever-growing student body, especially with our freshman class hitting an all-time high in enrollment this semester. Um, it also is really great because it actually gets students more involved in with activities and clubs here on campus, which I think UTA really needs. The new 848 Mitchell Luxury Apartments are ahead of schedule and will be up and functioning for the fall of 2019. Creighton Branch, UTA News. The Arlington and UTA Police Department hosted the National Night Out to recognize safety awareness for students, family, faculty, and staff. Here's Eduardo Cadenas with the story. On the first Tuesday of October, National Night Out events occur in neighborhoods across Texas to bring police and communities together. On campus, it's um, bringing students together and being aware of the, the resources that we have on campus with the law enforcement and with other agencies on campus and even within the university that can um, assist them in helping prevent crime on campus. Night Out is not just about police engagement. It is also a way for students to get out and engage with other students, also with on and on campus organizations. Well, we want to promote safety safety awareness you know so we'll have uh, demonstrations of rad which is women's self-defense we'll have demonstrations so, you know how to use a fire extinguisher um, how to you know bicycle registration how to take care of your bike how to lock it um, crime prevention emergency management so there's a lot of safety aspect to it as well as other um, facilities within the university that that come out and and let you know about their what they offer uh, Edward Cardenas UTA News Students are becoming more exposed to different types of transportation systems, such as the hypermobility system. Keshonda Sherman and Kennedy Smith have the story. There's all types of ethical questions they're going through. UTA held a discussion panel with ACOM Thursday evening about urban mobility with driverless cars and high-speed travel through the use of hypermobility systems. Uh, it's the ability to go from Dallas to Austin for live, for work, for pleasure in 19 minutes moving at 700 miles an hour in a train. It's UTA students, faculty, and reps from ACOM talked about how this new form of transportation will affect how we plan, travel, and look at cities in the future. So thinking about how quickly technology changes, um, the unintended consequences are going to come a lot faster. So what we really want students to think about is getting their head around all these complex issues, transportation, mobility, um, you know, resources, whether it be natural, social, and how do you bring these all together to plan for the future? Worldwide, ACOM designs, builds, finances, operates, and manages projects and programs that unlock opportunities, protect our environment, and improve people's lives. At this level, we want to involve the students to raise the questions that need to be raised for what is the, the future of the disciplines of architecture, landscape architecture, planning, and Public, public policy. Kennedy Smith, UTA News. That's all we have for this week's edition of UTA Spotlight. On behalf of our UTA Spotlight producer, Hyung Chang, and UTA News, I'm Joe Scanlon. Have a great week.